Hello, this is Michael Rashad. In this continuing series of video comparisons between Excel, a spreadsheet program, and FileMaker, a relational database program, we're just going to talk about a very simple calculation field. Now, what I want to do is I want to, to add a calculation field that's going to give me the arrival date less 30. Nothing more complicated than that. So in Excel, what I have to do is I have to insert a column. And I'm going to click onto the, the cell after or the column after where I want it to appear so I can insert it. And I'm going to call this one remind, reminder date. I'm going to click into the first cell. I'm going to type equals sum. Click onto the arrival date field, minus 30. Close the parentheses. Check that the calculation is correct, and it is. I now click into that first cell again, drag all the way down to the very end. And obviously, depending on how many records you've got, will depend on how long this takes. But right now, I've got about 435, so it took, you know, two or three seconds to get there. I then go to the Edit menu, choose Fill, Down, and we're done. So not very difficult, just a little bit time-consuming. But let's go and take a look at how easy it is to do in a database. In the database, I've simply added a field, remind on, which is a date field. And all I have to do is to click into any record and open the replace dialog box, which is command equals if you're using a Mac or control equals if you're using a PC. I'm going to replace with calculated result, double click on my field, enter the condition, and done. That's as quick as it is in FileMaker. So there's no scrolling down, selecting all the contents, all the fields. And that field is there indefinitely, so it can be used automatically. It can also be set to be a calculated field so that it'll automatically fill in as you create the records. Not a huge difference, but every second counts. This is Michael Rashad. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.